most sex deprived generation ever. So it's a lot of horny dudes running around there, man. And it's like, God damn, it's like I'm I'm about to uh revisit my whole little thought on on tricking versus game, man. It's just like, bro, you got it. I'm, you know what, man, bro, if you got a trick, go ahead and do it, dog. Because yeah, <laughs> I might got I might gotta leave him alone, Lyro. I gotta leave them alone with they tricking, man. Let them go on. Do what y'all gotta do, man. Get it out That's your system. I, something. I just don't want to see brothers it doesn't come exist and get used. That's the part I'm trying to help them with. Hey man, it's easy to get used out here, man. I mean, I mean, you know, you know, for the most part, man, dudes are like walking while it's going around here, man. And you realize that you just gotta honestly move accordingly, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been got. Man, I got some stories, bro. Man, I've been got. Had to start over. <laughs> but you know what? Once you start over, man, it being if you get caught in that situation more than once, that's on you, man. But I mean, shit, you got to give it a shot at least one time or another, bro. Shit. At least one time. Chili cold blood. That's starting man. over, shit, man. That ain't cool. But one thing I noticed it's always the dude that's starting over, right? Mm. Hey, man it, and no some of those are like the biggest l a guy can take bro it's just like man shit. i mean yeah just protect yourself fellas i mean yeah. Yeah, my man come on you've been in the game for all these years man i know you done seen a whole bunch of l's man oh most definitely i done took my l's it ain't made, it, is a no -no. it didn't Go make ahead. you stop and give up did it yeah almost <laughs> i had some brothers i ain't gonna lie i had some brothers that pulled me up it was like no nah, man we can't let you let you down. I was down there at the grandma by his shoulder and drag me outside. I'm I'm in the house miserable about a woman. And then I had to start all over. And then I built that up and then had to kind of fall off and start over again. You get what I'm saying? But now we back and you know, like we never left, and I'm much wiser, smarter. And I take my L's to get my W's, man. It's just part of life. But it, you know, it wasn't a woman because I was in that situation. I allowed myself to stay there longer than I should have. And I could have said, man, you know what, man? This woman being disrespectful. But when I let it keep going on, it ended up costing me later. Yeah, I mean, shit. But you know what? One thing I, I was thinking about, like, how can a dude just actually, like, swear off women or whatever, right? I, I just, <laughs> I can't see it, bro. I mean, I mean, you got some young dudes. They already it's, it's, talking it's about, man, I'm monk mode. Like, bro, you 33. What you talking about, dog? Month, month. Man, they don't want to deal with them, bro. Man, I think they're just dealing with the wrong type of women. They're dealing with these Instagram thoughts and the get the money, get the weave, and leave. And now I got Light Bearer. That I see Light Bearer. That's you. Is I got K in here. That's you, sister. Yes, yeah, me. Okay. And can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, baby. Appreciate the pull up. And that that you, Happy Kingdom cyborg cyborg all right y'all had a flow go ahead uh well let's let the ladies go first miss k you want to go on here how you feel about you know our talking points in here hey what's up well this is actually the first time i'm on a panel but i wanted to show love to ism um i really liked it the conversation earlier on uh the breakdown show so I came over, showed support, and it was it was fun, real funny as hell. <laughs> um, I actually I first seen Ism from Teapot, one of Teapot debates. I think it was uh, yeah, Ism versus Ramil, and I laughed so hard, like tears literally <laughs> were coming down my eyes. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm not gonna be here long, but. I just wanted to show support and show love to you. Hey, hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. You know what I mean? And first time ever pulling up on the panel. A lot of people like to come on my panel for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man, that I make y'all feel comfortable, but we can have a conversation and it's not just so one sided where we attacking the women. I want you to come in here and say what you got to say with these brothers and not be, you know, worried about is they going to say something back about what how, how your uh you know uh feelings are and what you had to add to the conversation before you go what do you think about these modern women are they just out for the bag are these brothers right in what they're saying that no women are no good yeah i think definitely modern women yeah they're definitely not marriage material Ooh. um 
my little brother, he like in his early 20s, tried to tell him, but now he's starting to see himself. But yeah, I, I definitely think, yeah, it's it's going to be probably like a one in a million trying to find a good wife, anyone, young adult, women. So yeah, um, I think brothers, it's best to be red pill just to have that knowledge of women and be prepared, stack your money up, self-improvement, you know, and I mean, if you hopefully find that one, you do, but most of, most of the modern women, uh, it's not what that is. Okay. One more, one more before, before you go. What's the percentage of good women at a hundred percentile, 30%, 50%. What's your percentage? And what age group, like 20 uh, to 30 you know, like, or? Yeah, something like, we'll we say 20 to 35, 40, you know, like the, the, the marriage age range, 25 to maybe 40. That's good women. If you got to think uh, that long, it's going to be low. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be low because I would say... Like me, I, I st- my both of my parents still together. Mm. So my dad, my dad taught me about money. My mom taught me about being a woman, but that's very rare. Um, I, I don't see that often, and I don't, I don't really relate to a lot of women, a whole lot of them. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be pretty low. It's gonna have to be maybe around thirty percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That ain't too bad, bro. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, and then you know, when you say good women, it's not just okay, she got money or she help you out, she hold it down. Do she know when to shut up at certain times? Ooh. Yeah, that because the, the reality is, and you I like know from experience, the, yeah, the reality is if you're with someone for a very long time, it's gonna be times that even when you're right. You just got to be quiet and just leave it alone. Be quiet. Let him fit, finish it off. Okay. Well, you know, whatever. And I see that so many, it's hard for women to just be quiet. Just mm. take that, take that loss. E- even if you write, take the loss, go to sleep, whatever. Just forget about it. It's going to be that time. You got to put your pride down. You so have to. You, so are you saying that black women just like fucking with people? Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, definitely as far as well, like I said, I think it's just the pride. I mean, I see it a lot, even in some of my aunts. A lot of them married, except for like two of them, and the two is that's not, they're real aggressive. They don't want to back down, they won't don't want to be quiet, and it's not just them, I see it everywhere in person. I, I don't know the statistics. But when I go outside, I see this. Okay, they like challenging men and, you know, they, they just don't know when to be quiet. And I kind of think of it as why why choose the harder life? It's easier to just be quiet, be a woman. He take care of you. He treats you right. Man, we, we, we definitely don't want this to be the last time you pull up in here, sister, because you... You have some very good talking points, and the people need to listen to this. Some of the women, I mean, this is another sister speaking. My fellas, how y'all feel about what this sister talking man, about? Hey, come on, Ism. You know Wanda down in the chat probably calling that woman a mammy right now, bro. Come oh, on, Wanda. Go, Wanda, Wanda have a man. Miss Wanda it's got the a man. talking points, Ism. It's the talking points, bro. It's Uh-oh, you're going to make Miss Wanda. Wa- ain't, ain't Wanda. Pull up here and whap and tap on Lyro. <laughs> I think y'all got some beef or something. What's going on, Lyro? This is a good sister. No, that's all good. <laughs> Anybody else want to come yeah, in there, Happy? Come on, Happy. Kate, you, you, uh, I ain't never heard you before, but I like you already because um, you're speeding facts. And I can tell it's not the type of facts how, you know, you can kind of tell when women come around and they say what the man want to hear. I, you, For you to pick that as your first thing, I know it's real. That's the first thing. Second thing is um <clears throat> shout out to everybody on the panel. Sarism, all the people. Um, I'ma say this. And um 
and I'll unpack it too. <clears throat> there ain't really no such thing as a good woman. I'll tell you why. You know, see, the problem is cats feel like if they find this uh, magical woman that they're going to have a partner and it's going to make them better. You have to be at a certain level to even had a vision and discernment to see when that is right for instance you know you can you can you can say you can ask 10 women was i with them did i cheat on them and i did i treat them bad they can tell you yeah but then you can ask another one and she can tell you no so two people is like a a science you have to find what matches for you the same woman who i have no interest in and i flake on has options of men that want to be with her. So our chemistry is not a mix. Our science doesn't go together. So there isn't just a, there's no such thing as the one. You have to figure out what it is that makes you happy and then find somebody that fits into that mode, right? For 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 another cat, let's say Kay makes six figures and she drives a Benz. So then a man may see that. Let her, she got a big butt too. He'll And she cooks. That's a good woman. Yeah, for him. I need a woman that can help me create content and write my books. I know how to cook and do all that shit myself. You see what I'm saying? You have to customize the shit for you. You know? Remember on the last stream, I told you, I don't like white girls. It might be a good old woman. She will write my books, do all that, but I'm not attracted to white chicks. So that's not a good woman for Come me. On, man. Because at the end of the day, I want my dick to get hard too. You feel me? So people need to understand that shit. Show some fucking respect. Okay. Just, uh, True Savage, Third War, LDA. What's going on with y'all, family? Who else I got in here? And don't, you want to jump in? Light Bear, you want you want the flow? Come on in there, Light Bear. T.O.P. One minute, okay. Uh, Laro, Sister you George. Jump in there? Mike said he'll be right back. Oh, man. You know what, though? It, it's, that sounds like a lot of work. And I'm not against work. I mean, I'm talking about, like, today's environment. I don't think I don't think brothers want to work that hard no more, man. Cause it just and you didn't go! like me personally. I, I I just don't see putting in that much work. I want to know about your mind. I want to know about this and that, man. I just think it's just a society now, man. It's just like ready to throw a a, a match on it, bro. I mean, everybody out for like, themselves. Don't nobody day. trust each other. So it's just like, what's the purpose? Just have your fun. <laughs> she be there while you me. while you there, man. It's just like fuck this. No more L's, dog. No more L's, man. Anybody else want to jump in there? Come on with the game. You there, Mike? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm cooking. I'm, I'm going to be right back, bro. I'm, I'm cooking okay. up a meal. Okay. Well, since I'm, uh, I'm coming Kay... back in like five minutes. All right, brother. Let me know when you're back. Since Kay and Appy were building, go ahead, Kay. That means so how do you feel about what I said, K? Do you agree, disagree, or do you do you feel where I'm coming from? Hey, uh, um, you mean about finding someone? Well, when you well, said what? Well, 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 Sir Ism, you know I love uh, you. You know what? It ain't even worth me re repeating myself three or four minutes worth of shit. So you just weren't listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not fucking doing it. So you weren't listening to me. It that's fine. You was eating. That's cool. I can't even. I can't even repeat what I said because it was off the dizzle. What the fuck? Man, he laid it out there just, just like it was supposed to. But it just like, damn, she don't care. That's too much love, Alfie. It's too much time you putting in on him, bro. I mean, I know it works yeah. for you, but I mean that. No, hey, it, no, I'm just speaking in general. I don't want no girlfriend, no marriage, no kids, none of that shit. But I, that don't mean that I'm about to just uh, sprinkle everybody with that because he asked me a question. So I know how to take myself out of situations and give proper answers. That's all. I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> but I still know, um, you know, me being a teacher, a coach, or a, you know, I still know. I talk relationships all day. Cats come to me with their problems. I hear their issues. I hear their issues. I hear what they want, what they need, what I used to want. It don't apply to me, but I still know what time it is. I I ain't spending no time looking for none of that shit. I gotta make a million dollars first and move out abroad. That's my fucking goals. I'm not tripping on that other shit. But I just don't know what people have problems with and finding because they bring their problems to me all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I know. I'm not going through none of this shit I just said. 
Mm-hmm. Disclaimer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so in this case, do you believe uh, this red pill knowledge is the way to go? And does it help you or hurt you if a brother coming up? I'm red pill. All right, I'm back. Look at that food. Look at that delicious food I got. There. there you go. Mm-hmm. About to tear into this shit. Ain't you want you back here, Light Bear? Oh, um, yeah, I'm here. You back, Light Bear? Yeah. Let me bring up Annie Wanda. I'm almost in there with y'all. I'm almost. Okay. I'm, I'm in here. Annie Wanda about to whap and tap on Laro. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I, didn't call, I would never call another woman a mammy, even if I don't agree with her. Um, as far as what she was saying, I do agree to a certain extent. Yeah, you're not supposed to be arguing back and forth and disrespecting your man. However, there are times when you do have to voice your opinion. And sometimes it may get a little heated. Now, I do know when to fucking back up. But, you know, not all men are created equally. And unfortunately, on, if, you know, if he's not a good leader, on, if he's man. not a good protector, and if he's not a good provider, you do have to speak up. And there's nothing wrong with that. Does that so, mean you tell you know, your man show what some to do? Any one? Any one? Hell no! I don't Isn't. tell him what to do, but I do, you know, voice my opinion, and I say, "Hey, can we do this?" Or okay, or is it okay? Well, my man is. I don't know. I I have a different one. I guess I I lucked up. You know, okay. it was like when we bought our house, it was like, "Go get your house, whatever. Go pick out the house." And uh, so it that was no would, issue. That would be called, the, that would be called no, a jelly nothing. back, Miss Wanda. But go ahead. A what? A jelly back. What's that? I don't you know, know what that means. No spine, not assertive. Uh, baby, no, 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 no. He, he trusts me. He knows that I'm going to pick the best thing for our family. That's what you call a good man. So it's basically like you run the household. Oh, hell no. He runs the household, but I'm his support. And he trusts me. He trusts that I'm going to pick the best house for our family. And that's what I did. That's what's up. It sounds like he got you a good man, Ms. Wonder. And what's wrong with that? I mean, you guys sound no, that's like wonderful. That, that, hey, that, that's our relationship, love that love. That's marriage, that's and everything. So, Annie Wanda. So, he's not a jelly belly. No. Hell no. Okay. Now, I mean, he knows when he puts his foot down, He, you know, I know when to back up. He's my All man. Right. I want to ask Kay and, and Annie Wanda. Is it harder for you to? Uh, let me see how I won't say this. Do you have to keep the pressure on a on a sister, the choke chain on the sister a little tighter than the other races? Like you got to let her know who's the boss. I think American women are American women. So I, I have friends. Wait a in minute, all any, any, any counselor? We all counselor. the same. I mean, a, a, I don't see no Wanda. difference. Don't don't go PC on me. Come on, Auntie Wanda. You know what I'm asking. It, it, not just you. I know exactly what you're asking. Okay, in, I in do. General, that. I know what you're asking, but to me, yeah, it's all the yeah, same. American women person. are American women. That, okay, so that huh? does that mean? Does that mean yes that you have to be on the American woman a little harder? That's what I want to know. I'm not speaking on your relationship. I'm out of that with you and Lyra. I want to know okay. American women. Do you have to keep? Your reins on them tighter, else they will think you weak. Hmm. I would say yes and no. I would say yes, you have to, because as American women, we have been taught to be independent. We have been taught that we have to, you know, not to rely on anybody else, that we got to go get it for ourselves. And so, yes, that's a, a downside, but then it's also a benefit. Because a lot of these men out there are not good protectors or providers. Mm-hmm. And so, therefore, we have to, you know, to fill in the gap. Yeah, thank you. And that's very- I didn't want your politically correct answer. Thank you. That's what I was trying to get out of you. Yes. <laughs> thank you. So, because I like when women say it, anyone. So, that's why, you know what I'm saying? I wanted you to say it. Yes, you have to be hard on. So, these guys that's listening, yeah, hey, if you want one of these sisters, this is some of the things that come along with them. And then I'm going to give it to Kate. And then I'll come to you, fellas. 
you have yeah, to be I smarter definitely, than um, black women. Yeah, I definitely agree with what Wanda said. Um, yeah, American women, yes, because of all this independence and uh, I have to get this degree and I'm putting this first. I do agree that, yes, you have to be more tough on them. Um, as far as the providers, yeah, they, they shouldn't even get chose until they're ready to provide which is why I do think young men should not even think about marriage, not even until they're ready to provide, which is usually what, like mid thirties on up. So yeah, that's my opinion. You, hey, Ism, you hear that, man? You hear that, you hear that word? So basically, on, black bro. man, get, get yourself together, right? Do everything you're supposed to do. So you can provide, man. Fuck. So you could get chose, is what I heard. Right, bro. Come on. Uh oh. Hey, one big mama on the pizza. You got a nigga. Fuck. Well, when I call this nigga, like, we had to figure them out after two minutes. But it happens to the other side. That's meaning. That's right. meaning. Take on another child. Yeah. Then. I mean, that's how that sounds. Take on another child, a whole another human being that I gotta take care of. That still uh -oh. gonna talk back, man. Nigga, fuck that. No. Mm -hmm. Nope. Ism. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm here, brother. Go ahead. Hey, just real quick. I noticed across this uh bottom you got fair use. So when you when you say that or put that, you don't have to get the copyright shit no more on the videos. If you'd say that. Uh I just following the pattern that I seen yourself. Or you're gonna be the man and say, you know what? You don't have to do all of that shit. I'm gonna provide for you. You can't have it both. And so they're having a they're having a difficult time in this dating market because of that. Okay, come on in. Then I'm gonna come to you, fellas. Yeah, um, I definitely. Well, I don't know if I would say weak, but definitely just like a domino effect because of um, the single mother raising and. No men to guide a lot of black men, there is definitely a lot of problems with not being in control of your emotions. And that's a huge problem. Um, mm. Well, I know domestic murders have went up at least 30% last year. Um, it could be even higher now. And well, I watch a lot of actual crime trials. So there's actually a lot of men, like, they, they get set off really easy and snap. And it's all about being in control of your emotions. And I think a, a whole lot of men not, a lot of young boys are not. And that plays a major part in relationships, marriage. Being a father, because if you can't control your emotions, you suffer <laughs> like some major consequences, and it's it's a really big problem. And I see that a lot. I see a lot of men. You can say something, they can get set off. I mean, you have you actually have people that you actually have father who killed their son over. It can be like Thanksgiving dinner or. A woman who said something, and next thing you know, he killed her, the kids. I mean, it's it, it's a lot of stuff going on, and I'm glad that in my family, I don't see it. My dad, he's very much in control of his emotions, very much. He, I've never heard him yell a day in my life. Um, so, and I'm also that way too. Like, and maybe that's why I can hear a lot of red pill stuff even though i don't agree with the, with everything but i can take it i can take the heat i can listen to different point of views i don't get mad i don't get upset because i control my emotions so i wouldn't say well i wouldn't say weak but definitely uh, a lot of being a lot of young boys yeah they definitely lost control
pick another um lead attorney with this one right here. So, so we we're we gonna be getting this shit together. We're gonna we're gonna get it together. I'm sorry, I'm cursing on your uh, platform. Um but we're gonna get a different name for her because I don't wanna use her real name and stuff. She actually got a real job. <laughs> Oh yeah, but, um, What's, I don't even know what my name would be. <laughs> I, I got my dogs here. <laughs> but we were having a little conversation and stuff like that, and we were talking about some of the stuff that we're talking about right now, like up here, just a moment ago, or like a couple of hours ago, and stuff like that. When I first started setting up everything that's up here, but don't worry, we're going, we 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 will talk about this a little bit later. Let me let let this get back to the ladies that's talking about what we got, what the topic is talking about right now. Sorry about that. Hey, Liberia, Liberia, tell her we're going to get her name. Liberia, tell her we're going we gonna to get her name over here in the Macosphere, man. Legal girl. He said yeah. we're going to give her a name in a, uh, in a minute. We're going to figure her name out for you. <laughs> what's a good name? Look, 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 look. So you got her already, Ism. You got her already. She said, what's a good name? Uh-oh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, all right. All right, tell her to take care, man. From the uh -huh. Appreciate that, Light Bear. Yeah, man. Oh, no, definitely. Yeah. Like, I'm, Where are you? What city are you at? Downtown you? LA. Oh, you're in LA. I'm in Cali, too. Mm -hmm. What part? Yeah. In uh, Riverside County. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I am. Sure. Yeah. See, look, look. I, I, I was out in. Uh, I was working in some uh, some companies that I don't work for no more. So now I could I could talk a lot more now. I can speak. I can because <laughs> before I used to hide and stuff. But I don't work for those uh, governmental uh, entities anymore. So I can have a little fun. But uh, I was out in Palmdale for a little while, hating life. Okay. Just hating life. <laughs> yeah, I know what Palmdale is. Palmdale is where all the gangsters go after they kill somebody. Exactly. Calm down and land count. <laughs> land cast. <laughs> look, man. Look. I was seeing I was seeing gang members with all different types of colors I've never seen before. They had orange jackets and purple and I was like they took my New York hat was like um uh, they use that as a gang now. I'm like, I can't even wear my New York hat out here. Like yeah, man. I can't take my stuff. <laughs> they did the same thing to me when I came to the Bay, man. I tried to wear my New York hat in the Bay, man. Them Richmond niggas was like, take that shit off, bro. I'm like, for real? No, 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 no. They, they ain't take it off me now. Oh, no. Nah. We, we, we gonna have a problem. Like, shit, this is... Nah, he told me to take it off. This, nah, yeah, that, that's usually not... Well, I'm gonna say that don't happen to me. But, um... <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure it don't happen uh, any further. But, uh, yeah, like, you know, most of the time people come up to me when it comes to that situation. They see a Star David or they see that hat, and then they'll ask me a couple of questions.